Hi guys, in this video I'll be talking about peer-to-peer -peer lending. A lot of people might already be familiar with peer-to-peer -peer lending and they might already have invested some amount of money in different platforms. So today I'll be comparing various peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms on various points such as which has good yields, which has lower default rate and which has good customer service. So when I started peer-to-peer -peer lending, I was pretty naive in this field and I thought a higher yield means a better platform and I put a lot of money in some of the platforms uh, which didn't turn out really well. In the first two months it looked really good but after that there were a lot of default, a lot of delays and there was no collection at all. And in fact I was only able to recover around 75-80% to 80 of my initial principal. Forget about generating high yield. So, one thing uh, I found found out about a lot of platform is they might be having a good tech but for a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform to be successful it is very important to have a very good collection team and second thing is to choose a product which suits your risk appetite now just because some product is offering a higher return does not mean that that product will have a lower NPA or net uh, non-performing assets so in this video, I'll be comparing the various P2P platforms. So what I'll do, I'll divide this video into two parts. I'll cover the first part in this in this video, and the second part I'll cover in a video which I'll create in future. So why I'm doing that? Because even in P2P, there are two segments. One segment is a very low risk segment where you can generate 10 to 12 percent yield with very low default and the other segment is high yield segment where you can target 25 percent yield but there is a higher chance that the default rate will be higher so i'll cover that in this next episode but in this particular episode i'll be comparing the platform which offer 11 to 12 percent yield but with uh, low risk so which are these platforms i've you tried many platforms and the one which i feel are good are one uh, <clears throat> Uh, Lendbox settlement finance product and second Fairsend double product which is uh, also called as Fairsend SGIP product and third is Bharat Pay product so and I'll compare how these platforms generate that kind of returns and what kind of products these platforms are offering and then probably you will be in a better position to choose a platform i suggest splitting your money across these platforms so that you know you do not have one platform risk the platform risk is something which means that platform is doing well right now but maybe in future because of change in management or change in the volume of loans they're processing the credit underwriting can deteriorate so it's better to segregate to separate your capital into three parts or split it into three parts and put it in the different platform so that once you find out you know, one platform not doing well it's easier to take out money from that platform and put it in the other platforms so today i'll be comparing p2p platform which offer low risk products so i will not dwell into products which offer high yield and have higher risk so idea is to provide you details about products which have low risk and so basically i have taken comparable comparable products from different platforms so the platform which i have considered are facent lendbox 12 person club and credment so in each of these platforms you can see what kind of yields you can generate what kind of products you can choose from and what kind of risk these platforms have so if we take face for instance so the products which I have, which I have invested in personally are uh, Fairsend and Double and Pool Loans. So Fairsend and Double is a product which gives you a fixed interest rate like 11 or 12 percent, and Fairsend invest in loans on your behalf. So they use their own credit assessment and do the diversification and then give you 11 or 12 percent yield and whatever they make over that 12 11 12 percent they keep it i think this is a good product because here you don't have to go and check each loan personally and then a lot of people they tend to invest in one kind of particular kind of loan loan and then the default rate goes up in that loan they suffer losses here the fair is doing the diversification work on your behalf 
and this product has done well i've invested it in this product since it started i think six months back and till now it has been consistently giving me decent returns uh, the other product is a pool loan product in pool loans i invested two kind of pools one is the uh, other uh, micro atm pool and one is the domestic transfer pool so in bo both these products the the money is used uh, by the shopkeepers for a very specific purpose for instance in the other atm product uh, the money uh, is uh, used to fund the one day gap between the time when the investor so when the a person who uses that atm takes out the money and when the banks provide the shopkeeper with the money that person has taken out so there's always a lag with a one day lag right so that's called uh, this aspect called settlement finance product and the other product is a domestic transfer pool product where this money used to uh, provide uh, credit to the the wallet for shopkeeper who use a domestic tra transfer uh, wallet service hmm. and uh, these products offer you 10 to 12 percent yield and till now uh, these products have been doing well for me the inbox has uh, multiple products but again i have taken three products which i invest in which are low risk products one is settlement finance product which is similar to the pool loan loan product in face Int. the other is the gold loan product which uh, is in partnership with johal investments so this here the collateral is gold and the borrowers uh take money and deposit the gold with that uh, nbfc and inbound lend box as partner with that nbfc third is the academic loans product where the money is used to fund fund the education of uh, the uh, school going uh, children and this uh, loan is guaranteed by the school so and school also provides uh, an afd as a backup so if let's say the uh, the default rate goes higher then that uh, default can be offset against the fixed deposit so the yield for these uh, products is in the range of 10 to 12 to 10 to 14 percent 10 percent 11 is for settlement france product which is much safer than an academic loan product where the yield can go up to 14 percent third we come to 12 percent club so this is a recently launched product by bharat pay but bharat pay had all also had a lending product much before this and which they had uh, created for the shopkeepers but now they are also allowing other investors to use this product so this product is in tie up with liquid loans and lending club and they use their uh, own data and analysis to uh, provide uh, uh, insights on the borrowers and they have that uh, they they don't know the people are using the, the qr code and a lot of shopkeepers they have a daily transaction uh, volume data so using this data uh, they are able to uh, uh, analyze the borrowers and the good thing about this product is that it has a daily liquidity you can take out the money anytime you want and the yield is fixed at 12 percent credit uh, also has a product which is in tie up with liquid loans they offer uh they offer people to invest and get nine percent wherein they uh, use that money to uh, borrowers who have good uh, credit uh, scores but i feel the yield for the product at nine percent is pretty low considering the list risk, risk people are taking uh, because uh, similar platforms who have partnership with liquid loans uh, etc are offering 12 percent so i don't think there's any reason for people to invest in this particular product so people can diversify across these three platforms and they should expect a yield between 11 to 12 percent so now i'll cover the performance of uh, these uh, now i have covered the performance of these products so and now i'll go to the interface of these platforms which will give you a better idea of these products so this is the face and dashboard and on the dashboard on top you can see the different categories of loan so we'll be only considering face and double and pool loans so if you see the face and double dashboard you can see uh, it's a 12 month old product and already has around 83 crores AUM deployed and 
so it has multiple plans so based on you know the amount you want to invest and attain all you are looking to invest you can choose it for instance if you want to just invest 50 per like thousand rupees you can take the 12 month plan which will give you a 12 percent return at the end of the 12 month period and uh, so there's no fees for this product so once uh, the uh, if the product would have generated more than 12 percent the person would have taken the person would take the spread so there's a 8.25 percent freedom plan also where you can take out the money whenever you want so i think uh, this is on the lower side at least you should uh, look for a 12 month plan or 11 month six month plan to get a decent yield so you can see the overview of this uh, product so it tells you what to you know all they underwrite different types of loans based on their own credit assessment and algorithms so that uh, the net return is higher than 12 percent mm -hmm. so then uh, we go to the pool loan product so like i told you this af micro atm pool is a pool where uh, they use to fund a one day uh, banking system lag and this is a quite a low risk product so most of the time uh, this product gets 100 percent funded because there's a lot of demand on this product right and then there's the domestic transfer pool product so here uh, they provide uh, loans to these merchants who are using these wallets and the money is only in, provided in these wallets so they cannot use this money for their own personal use as you can see most of these pools are already funded but it's missing it makes more sense to have put your money in the face and double rather than you know wait for the pool to open up so now we move on to lendbox so lendbox uh, i prefer this the alt investment uh, section in loan lendbox alone where i target the one the settlement finance product which is similar to your normal face rent uh, pool loan where they fund a one day or two day banking system gap and they yield up between 10 to 12 percent the other product which i use is the johal investment which is the, generally the loan backed by gold so these two products are the staple products i use and for a slightly higher yield uh, you can use the academic loans so basically which can find fetch you between 16 to 18 percent obviously the this product is the has a higher uh, return but also a slightly higher risk compared to settlement finance and uh, the dual investment product so these three products you can consider from inbox and i have been using it at these products and i have achieved a yield of 12, 12 to 13 percent which varies depending on the deployment of my funds so which i think is uh, quite decent in this environment now we go to the 12 percent club so 12 percent club they do not have a website for investment they can only do the investment through the mobile app so i have done it through my mobile app and as a pretty long product has been doing well but you can see they have a tab with little like, loan and lending club and they have for borrowers they have a partnership with hind on mercantile limited so they also have mentioned uh, that if in case uh there is a risk they are trying to manage the risk but in the end the responsibility uh, is of the user who is using money there can be defaults however there have been no defaults so so this means that uh, it's not a degree it won't guarantee anything obviously p2p is a platform they're not allowed to guarantee or uh, the returns but uh, i've used this product uh, i've used a uh, the erstwhile product also the bharat pay uh, shopkeeper lending product and it is a decent product i mean you, obviously you do not want to put a lot of money in these platforms but uh, it is a, a good product you can split your money between these platforms fourth is the credit mint they again they do not have web-based uh, interface and they offer nine percent in partnership with uh, liquid loans and again but they deploy this for funds at 16% so 
I don't think this is a great product for the investor. I mean, it's a great product for credit. So I'll just uh, ignore this for the timing. You can split your money between these three platforms and can then expect a yield of 11 to 12 percent in totality. So as you just saw, uh, that these platforms are a good way to diversify and uh, put your capital into something which is not li linked to the market directly, but uh, <clears throat> It will. It comes with the caveat that there are certain instances when even these platforms can underperform, such as the COVID lockdowns when the whole, every, when everything is shut down and the government has enforced the moratorium period. So none of the platforms could collect money at that time and the performance deteriorated. So everything comes with a you know a grain of salt. Uh, you you cannot just say that if this product is riskless, but this pro pro uh, product offers a good return compared to the risk you are taking so it's a good risk adjusted return so you can definitely add these products you can find some of the links for these products which will give you registration benefits and you can feel free to use it and if you have any comment about these platforms or opinion about these platforms feel free to comment on this youtube video or check out my blog randomlines.com thank you